Welcome everyone, today I'm going to fix a new problem with Nagius. Uh, I got a comment that uh, uh, it has a problem with uh, Nagius that it cannot communicate between the Nagius uh, server and the agent so that's the main problem like if you do like service uh, NRP in the agent side and the status you're going to see it's uh, here uh, host uh, this is a host which is a Nagio server uh, not allowed to talk to us so it's like it's this IB address for uh, Nagios here so it can it's not allowed to talk to the agent so that's the main problem now and we need to fix it so you it's either you didn't give the correct IB address in your machine to the ser Nagio server from the uh, inner piece so I will check you need to check first here I will go to uh, Nagus server as and I will go to user local Nagus and etc and I will see my services like this is uh, the host and the services so I will go to the hosts and I will check the IB address is correct or not so if this is the correct one yes this is the correct but uh, Either like the the agent is like uh, it's making Nagios and uh, like Nagios server like here if you do like uh, service Nagios status here and you're going to see it's everything is working just fine uh, you can check it from the let's check it from the var log here and this log what's going on here so you're going to check it like it's the, this is chicken or being error. Uh, it's like could not complete SSL handshake so it's not a problem about this so it's uh, so from your Nagius uh, agent this like okay. now because uh, like now it's like uh, here I'm going to see it's uh, so I'm going to user first I'm going to user local Nagius and uh, uh, etc and I'm going to check the inner P. So I will go with nano minus C to make it check the uh, the lines here. Inner P here. So I will go here. You can check like uh, Control W and you can check this allowed allowed. So this is allowed host addresses. So you allow this host. So check it. It is clear or not. So this is our one. So I will make it as a three here. This is like was five. I will make it as a three, and service inner p restart. So I will check with my inner p status again here like this. It will start. So also check the. Um, I will go here the etc. Uh, yes and. I will go to the inner P here. This is the inner P, and here I will go put my uh, Nagio server uh, IB address because it's still here. This is the main problem, it's still here. So I will uh, put the IB address here. Oh, sorry. This is for the server without comma, without anything, just like this. Service nrp restart and you also check this in restart so now you're going to check the status here if you check the status nothing here so um here if you oh sorry um if you check here this is allowed allowing connections from this IP address you're going to allow your server already so now your server will start to communicate like now this is this like no so it's it's done like it's uh, it's really easy it's not uh, that hard to yeah I know this is like a struggling between the uh, between the server like it's there are like um, you cannot understand the error where is the error coming from uh, but uh, so now it's everything is working just fine if you check it again here like uh, service uh, Nagus for my Nagus server this is a name my Nagus server Nagus status oh status and it's working just fine here 
so as it's uh, I hope this video will help uh, for to figure out where, where is a problem like check check the logs uh, this is uh, this is how you 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 can fix the problem like every time check the logs check this is log check the so like for example like uh, what I did here this is a command here this is tail minus F and uh, you can also uh, do like um, if I uh, how it call like this one I will make it like this is an argus status here now is everything is SSL and this is like in a communication violated so I like to make it like with command watch I like this command a lot actually so this one it will it will allow you like it will give you like uh, if you are doing something in the server and uh, you're going to watch like it's if something change if something it will automatic it will come really fast so in the next video I'm going to show you um, how to uh, uh, there are a problem also with SSH and other stuff and also I'm, I'm not forgetting I didn't forget the uh, the Nagios how you are sending emails I will also put it uh, I will make this video but uh, this is going to from the local because uh, I will do it as a local, like sending from uh, emails from local, and uh, I hope this video will help you more, and thank you for watching.